tell you what exactly you have to do. A case of myasthenia gravis, two ways it can come. Examine the upper limb or look at the patient and examine or examine the patient's cranial nerves. Alright, so you have to first demonstrate three things. Ocular fatigability, bulbar fatigability, proximal muscle fatigability. So ocular fatigability, just ask him to look up. Can you look up, sir, without him? And then look up, keep looking up, sir. Count of 20, 25, see here. See the eyes, slowly it is getting closed. Yes. The left eye. Ask him to keep looking up. See the toes is slowly coming, coming. Down. coming down. It's coming down. Okay, this is ocular fatigability. Next is a bulbar fatigability. Ask him to count 1 to 50. Okay, tell us about the numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, This is called bulbar fatigability. Next is a proximal muscle fatigability. Ask him to keep the Push it up. Push it down. Now? You have to give some reinforcement. Ask him to take the hand. Do up and down. Chai pai ki kinda kanande? Twenty times. You can. Okay. Now ask him to give the hand like this. Ask him to push it up. Very simple. If the weakness disappears, then you are dealing with limbs. One, two, three. Have done. Fourth thing you have to do is check for any thymectomy scar here. Percussion. Your percussion sound should be heard to the examiner, otherwise that also they have noted down in some people's feedback. Percussion not heard. Don't want that to happen. So that completes the miasthenia